Welcome back, this is Rito here with another Anna the Archer Let's Play. We are doing a bow only playthrough of Calamity on Revengeance Mode. Today, we're going to collect a few items in preparation for our fight with the Jungle Dragon Yarin. The first thing I want to do is collect the community, which will require us to fight the Leviathan and Siren boss quite a bit, but it's a really good accessory. Well, here's the Leviathan. So let's start this up and see how well it goes. <laughs> we have really powered up since the last time we fought him. And nothing. So I think it's like a 1% chance to get the community. So we're just going to need to farm this up for a while. I'll just skip through most of this farming. Because this may take a little bit of time here. Man, we do a lot of DPS now. Oh my goodness, we got the community. That was so easy. That was the fastest. I cannot believe it, that's a 1% chance. I was expecting us to have to spend like a half hour at least farming this. Pretty awesome. As you go through the game and beat different bosses, the stats will actually scale. And so it will boost life regen, damage reduction, defense, crit strike chance, damage, melee speed, minion knockback, movement speed, and max life. Another thing I wanted to do was get a really cool mount. What it requires is using this Fab Soul drink when you fight the Devourer of Gods. So I'm going to grab our Devourer of Gods summon, and then I'll pop this potion during the fight, and we should be good to go. We are doing so much more damage. I think I might switch to Luminite, because the Luminite arrows are so powerful against these guys. Yeah, I think that's going to be stronger. And here we go. I don't think it makes you fight the Sentinels after you've beat this boss the first time. Okay, well, we're doing pretty well. One last charge, and we'll use our adrenaline, and we'll be able to probably take them out. There we go. And he should have just dropped our... Yes, our new mount. That's awesome. Whoa. So it's a flying mount. It basically can replace the need to have wings. I wonder if you can teleport. No, when you teleport, it, you lose your mount. But it's really cool. Let's head on over to the jungle and get our arena set up and start fighting the bird and then Yaren. So I took out all this area to level it and there was a lot of water, so I dug a big trench right here to get the water drained. I hope this is jungly enough for the game. I don't know if they have an enrage mechanic or anything like that, so we'll have to just try it out and hope that this is sufficient. Sweet. We are going to destroy the bumblebird. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was such a... <laughs> Such an easy boss fight. Okay, well, this is the Bumblebird lore piece. It's kind of cool. Whoa, a tree just spawned. That's awesome. 
<laughs> I don't think I've ever really seen a tree just spawn right in front of me. Our treasure bag just gave us a rage mode item. It permanently increases the damage of rage mode. That's awesome. And then we have a nice spear. Well, that was an easy fight, but the Yarin Dragon is not going to be as easy. So let's go back to base, craft our summon for the Jungle Dragon, and start up phase one. We can craft the Dragon Egg, and that just requires Bars of Life and the Feathers. Oh my goodness, I was not ready for that. <laughs> I was going to attack and I had this jungle dragon summon. So, okay, I guess we're just gonna fight him. Well, our arena is actually a little bit too small, which is surprising. Actually, no, I think it's just because we summoned him when we weren't in the center. We should be fine. Well, this is gonna be a hard fight. Definitely wasn't prepared to start this up. Oh, this is so scary, but we're actually doing decent. We even have adrenaline? Super awesome. We almost have rage as well. Uh oh, we're making mistakes here. We gotta be careful and methodical. Oh my gosh, this guy's hard. <laughs> oh, I don't know what did all that damage. That's crazy, I took like half of my health or more. He's getting like enraged or something. I have no clue what is happening. This is just so chaotic. <laughs> When's my potion up? Seven seconds. It's five seconds. Four, three, two. Potion, potion, potion time. No! <laughs> Let's see if this time our arena is the right size. Oh, perfect. Our arena is the right size. That's actually kind of random. I didn't even count or anything. I just kind of built it. Okay. I have a feeling he's going to enrage soon. Yeah, he's enraging.
No, we were so close. 12%, I think. We only need to get him to 10%, if I remember correctly, and then it he flies away or something like that. Well, I just purchased an asphalt maker, and let's quickly make some asphalt. That should help us a little bit. So we'll just line the whole bottom of the arena with asphalt, which is going to be a bit of a pain since we have all this stuff grown in. I have been working on this arena for a while. I've built up some walls. I don't really know if I want to bring them all the way up because the flames actually come in quite a bit. So this will protect me from the flames when I first get to them and then I just need to know to fly back into the other direction. I don't like doing this because I'm always afraid of corrupting my world, but I do have T-Edit and after building this arena and spending this much time on it, I think what I'm going to do is just copy this and paste it down farther so we can give ourselves some more height because I can't even use a full flight of wings without having to um, drop down halfway. So we're just kind of limited height wise in this arena and I do not want to have to go through this whole arena building thing again. So what I'll do is I'll make a backup of our world so nothing happens to it, backup of our character, and then I'll give it a shot, open it into edit and try to move this down. We have our new jungle house to set our spawn point in. And now we have a huge <laughs> arena. These are about where the boss flames will be. And once when we hit about 666, I think, or 550, I'm not sure which one it is for Revengeance, but once when we hit that, we are going to be enraging the boss. So that's why I've moved our arena down quite a bit. We might even be able to move it down another 100 blocks or so. But this will give us much more space to fight the boss. The center of our arena is right here. And let's just go ahead and start fighting Yaren. And let's see. That wall seems to be working pretty well, actually. Let's see how the wall works on this side. Looks good. Although I didn't even see the fire. Or it just glitched, maybe, <laughs> and didn't put a right-hand side. Oh well. I've never seen that happen where it doesn't enclose the right-hand side of the arena, because before when we were fighting him, it was clearly... Oh, that was bad. It was clearly the right position, so I think we're good. And you see this asphalt arena makes it much better when we do need to go onto the ground to get under those tornadoes. Oh no. No. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Yeah, I lost track of where I was in my arena. It might be good to build out our walls a little bit more. In fact, what I might do is move our spawn right here and see how that affects it because it should move this fire. Yeah, that, that actually is a nice place for the fire. And then let's see how it makes this side do. Honestly, this side's not spawning it. <laughs> I like how those fire tornadoes don't in initially do damage to you. You have to actually be in them when they've been spawned for a while. And so you can actually avoid damage for a little bit if you can get out of them quickly. Got another adrenaline. That'll be good. So I'm trying not to get too far away from him as well. And that way we don't lose like our hits, you know? We wanna we wanna keep our DPS going. Ooh, this is bad. Those were two really important mistakes not to make right before we go to his next phase. I have no idea what's going on there. That was really bad. 
Man, I was doing so good until he started teleporting. That's usually how it is with Fishron as well. Once when Fishron starts teleporting, I kind of go into like a weird panic mode where I'm not really thinking about the gameplay as much. I'm just kind of like scared of the boss. So I need to get over that mental block and face my fears. Face Mr. Yaren. The first phases are pretty easy now though. Ooh, the damage. <laughs> oh, that was perfect moment to use that. He was like standing still almost that whole time. Well, it looks like the fire is back on this side. Okay, here we go. Getting close to enrage mode. We need to just not do anything stupid. Okay, teleporting time. Here we go. Give him another try. I do love this song. And this is really actually a quite fun boss fight, even if we're dying. So I've been working on the arena, and what I ended up doing was I built a wall that brings the arena together a little bit better. And then what I did is built one of these little things. I just used an ice rod and then built the bricks out and actuated them. And then after that, I went into T-Edit and basically just copied it into two and then copied it into four and just made a bigger pattern. I just wanted to make sure that that isn't causing us an issue with this boss fight. So now that we've got that taken care of, let's give it another try and just keep practicing. Heal time, get off our mount. It looks like these blocks didn't actually do anything beneficial for us, so I don't necessarily recommend doing that. All right, well, here it goes again. Dang it, I need to bring that side of the arena in. Oh, that's such a bummer. Oh, and a double kill. <laughs> that's just... That's just mean. Well... Oh boy. Is this really gonna happen? I'm gonna try to Discord immediately when I spawn. I think I need to move my house now, too. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> It's like perfectly synced with my respawn. Every 14 seconds, it's right on top of me. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to force quit out of Terraria. What I forgot to do was turn my recording back on. And so I just fought him two or three more times and I just beat him actually, but I wasn't filming. So that's a new mistake.
I'm gonna keep fighting them. Oh, I'm so bummed though. It was a really intense fight. Let's go ahead and start this up. Now that we've beat them, we should be able to get them. So I wanna also do some DPS testing. It's like with direct hits, 20,000 damage with this bow if I'm getting the hits perfectly. And so let's give it a switch to the Alluvian bow and see what direct hits do with this one. So it looks like we're able to do, it seems easier to get 20,000 with this bow when we're using Bloodfire arrows, just from what I'm seeing. The self heal is kind of nice. It makes this part of the fight less prone to just causing issues. Get some adrenaline going. Adrenaline. Got pretty good health right now. So we're doing pretty good. Oh crud. Making mistakes. Real fast you can lose a whole run. We gotta get our heals back. I might even pop a heal, but I don't think I need to. I can probably get by with just healing. He's going to do his Enrage phase soon. Okay, now it's time to do our straight up and down motion and hope that our self heals have enough to protect us. We just popped our heal. Oh, we got him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we got him. I feel so much better. That's two clears in a row. Oh, man. I thought it was going to be another bunch of fights before we could get him again. Well, that was a very eventful saga. It's been like a whole morning working on this boss, but I'm glad we defeated his first form. It's been a very productive episode, although quite challenging. Next episode, we are going to jump right into Yarn Phase 2, so 
I'm excited and also not excited for that because I think it may be a pretty hard battle seeing as though we're going to be using our same Alluvian and Fangasm bows against him. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss the next one. And I'll see you next time.